In the ever-evolving world of medicine and biotechnology, the concept of edible vaccines has surfaced as a revolutionary innovation. This technology claims to offer numerous benefits, including ease of administration, cost-effectiveness, and broad applicability, particularly in developing countries. However, it also raises significant concerns that have yet to be adequately addressed. The increasing integration of edible vaccines into the food chain necessitates a closer examination of what we consume and consideration of alternatives, such as growing our own food. Edible vaccines involve the genetic modification of plants like tobacco, potato, tomato, banana, maize, rice, and spinach to produce specific antigens that stimulate the immune system. These modified plants present a new means of combating diseases such as measles, hepatitis B, cholera, diarrhea, HIV, Alzheimer's disease, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Different plants offer varied advantages and drawbacks. Tobacco, a pioneer in edible vaccines but limited by universal acceptance. Potato, offers potential but hindered by cooking, which breaks down proteins. Tomato, a promising host but limited by geographical growth regions. Banana, appeals to children but takes time to bear fruit. Maize, provides opportunity in everyday products but demands careful genetic considerations. Rice, known for stability but challenges in engineering specific proteins. Spinach, holds potential but still at an experimental stage. This technology has also extended to other food crops like sweet potato, peanuts, lettuce, watermelon, and carrots. Despite the promising prospects, edible vaccines are not without risks. Some of the critical concerns include the potential for genes introduced into these plants to inadvertently end up in the regular food chain. This could lead to unauthorized consumption of vaccines. The need for robust regulation to monitor the production and distribution of edible vaccines, ensuring that they don't unintentionally find their way into regular food supplies. Some of the most common and desirable foods for both consumers and companies, example, potatoes, tomatoes, maize, are at the forefront of this technology. These are foods that constitute significant portions of many diets and are being targeted for genetic modification. The widespread consumption of these staples makes the danger of unintentional ingestion of vaccines even more imminent. Given the risks, it is imperative to consider alternatives and take control of our food sources. Growing our own fruits and vegetables is one such solution. By cultivating our gardens, we know exactly what we are eating, reducing the risk of unknowingly consuming edible vaccines or other harmful substances. Foster a connection to nature and promote healthy eating. The move towards growing our own food resonates with a return to nature and can serve as a defense against the potential dangers associated with the consumption of genetically modified plants used in edible vaccines. The advent of edible vaccines marks a significant advancement in medical science and the potential for disease prevention. It opens a world of opportunities but also carries with it a series of profound ethical, regulatory, and health concerns. As the boundaries between our meals and medicine become increasingly blurred, it's our responsibility to remain vigilant and consider the broader implications of these technological marvels. While the scientific community continues to explore this frontier, growing our own food offers a tangible step towards reclaiming control over our diets. In this age of scientific discovery, we must balance our pursuit of innovation with caution, ethics, and respect for individual autonomy. By embracing the simple joys of cultivating our gardens, we may find that the answers to some of our most complex problems lie in returning to our roots. Our plates are no longer just a source of nourishment, they hold the seeds of a new era in healthcare. Let us approach this future with curiosity and caution, nourishing our bodies and nurturing our souls while safeguarding our right to choose what we consume. The fusion of food and medicine is a promising but perilous path, and our decisions today will shape the health and freedom of generations to come. Be careful, stay alert and continue to subscribe to this channel for more important news you need to know.